I've been covering the MAC conference really going back to 1993. So you're talking about 20 years now, going back to when I was a college student at Bowling Green State University. And I knew I wanted to get into broadcasting. And you, you figure out real quick that if you're going to do it and you go to Bowling Green State University, you better know a lot about the Mid-American Conference. The MAC has certainly had some woes in the beginning, but it was one sport that propelled the conference forward. But the MAC conference in football, um, there was always only usually one good team. I always thought with basketball was that that was really where I came to really appreciate the conference because there was always seemed like in that time you're talking mid '90s, every team in the MAC had one elite player that went on to the NBA. You know, if you were Bowling Green where I was, you talked about Antonio Daniels, who ended up being a top ten NBA draft pick. Miami U University. They had Wally Zerbiak. You know, Eastern Michigan had Earl Boykins. So everybody had a really good player. And then I really think as far as a basketball conference, the MAC really took off then. While success is there, the MAC suffers from little exposure to the national media. And it's something that the conference is trying to fix. Uh, the Mac signed a, a TV deal a couple of years ago with ESPN, and now you have virtually a, a game of the week on national TV for the entire month of November. That's huge. I think it's one of the main reasons why a team like Northern Illinois was able to rise through the ranks last season and make it to a BCS bowl game. Well, because people nationally got a chance to see them. That doesn't happen 20 years ago or even 10 years ago, but it happened now. And with the national coverage at their hand, the conference has also made some noise in the past few years against big competition. You know, Bowling Green played Alabama uh, to a virtual deadlock. Bowling Green played Ohio State tough for three quarters. Akron can go up to Ann Arbor and play Michigan and play them to an even matchup. I mean, I know Michigan got the win, but Akron played extremely well in that ball game. When you get to the NCAA tournament, as we all know, anything can happen. You get a team like Ohio University that can make it to the Sweet 16 and beat a team like North Carolina. You know, in a 40-minute game, anything can happen. We're seeing it all over where mid-level BCS schools are having problems beating MAC schools. Growth has certainly been seen in the Mid-American Conference, and with many schools stepping up to further grow the conference into a bigger, better powerhouse. I think the future of the MAC's very good. Uh, I have a lot of respect for John Steinbrecher, the commissioner, and his staff and the work that they've done to try to uh, raise the profile of the conference. Uh, I think the conference has nowhere to go but up. I think it's going to continue to have sustained growth. The MAC conference has certainly come a long way since its successful beginnings, and with the level of competition increasing, the future is certainly looking bright for the conference. For the ZTV Sports Report, I'm Sartaj Ojala.